Schwartzberg CISD Distance Learning Google Classroom Learning Series. Module three, Inside a Class. Let's begin by selecting one of your classes. This is the inside of one of your classes. Across the top, you will see the navigation bar from earlier, the name of your class, the stream will be where you land when you first select your class. You have classwork, people, grades. Let's get back to the stream. Across the top, you will see the blue header. Yours might be a different color. This is the name of the class. This is the section, and this is the class code. If you select this feature here, you will display it in a large format. This class code is needed for students that might come in into your class and you need to add. And we're not listed as a person already in your people container. Back to stream. On this same blue header, I have the option to select a theme. Google automatically selects a theme for you. Since this class is about using computers for teaching and learning, I want to select this header instead. Select class theme. It changed my header now. You also have the option to upload your own photo. Make sure you have rights on that photo before you upload it. Let's talk about the settings cog next. When you are in class settings, you will see that you have a class details area, general, and grading. Let's start with class details. Class details allows you to change the class name, add a description, a section, room, and change the subject line in class details. Let's move down to general. In general, you have class code. It's the same one that we saw earlier. Let's click this drop down menu. You have the option to display this code in a large format as we did earlier. But you also have the ability to copy it, to reset it, and disable it, which is a smart feature if you have some of those mischievous students that will tell one period another period's class code. Next, you have the stream. By default, students can post and comment on your Google Classroom stream. You might want to take a look at that feature and see if that is what you want happening in your class stream when you first begin, remember that by default, students can post and comment. If you do not want that, you have the option where students can only comment on something you've posted, or only teachers can post and comment. You have options. Next, class work on the stream. By default, show condensed notifications. You also have the options to show attachment and details or hide notifications. Next, you have show deleted items and guardian summaries. These are off by default. In the last, se last section, you have grading and grade calculations. If you plan on using this grade book, take a look at the features that are there. I'm going to select out of the class settings cog by clicking this X. And I'm back at my class view. Let's take a look at the apps launcher. It should remind you of module two. You have a link to your Google account from here, your Google Drive, another way to get to your home button on Classroom, Google Classroom, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar Meet, Sites, and Contacts. And 
once again, your Google profile. If you want to go home to see your other classes, simply click here and go to classes or go here and select classroom. Both will take you to the Google dashboard. This concludes module three inside a class. Thank you.